how long have you had this plot? I've been on this plot five seasons right. and I worked the school plot before for about mm. five years. So um, just give me a, a quick yeah. tour. So. Okay, these are our sweet corn and our mange twos. So how often do you come down? I'm down every weekend and quite a bit during the week. Yeah. I child mine, so we bring the children down. That's why we have raised beds so that the children can wander. These are our brassicas with tunnels to protect from the uh, cabbages, cabbage whites, yeah. and um, huh? caterpillars. That's right. Good spot. Uh, we keep them tall so they can weed because we don't like breaking our backs. So. Yeah. Um, we've got onions sown from seed and then we had autumn planted onions sown from set and just waiting to lift those when we get a dry day. Down here is where the children like to play. We've got a mud kitchen and sand pits and then we've got a sweet pea teepee and above it we've got grapes, kiwis, um, elderberries and clematis growing. Got lots of hanging baskets we do from scratch every year. We like um, we like having things that touch your feely for children yeah. and for the grown-ups. So we've got lavender, um, you know, different plants on corners so you can feel so and explain smell. Explain this one here. This one, boys, come here. These are the children's plots. This one's Drew's, our youngest. Yeah. Dominic's. And I've lost Jordan. So Jordan's on the Jordan's at the end there. And they've got their own section each. Here comes Jordan. Okay. So they can do whatever they want to here. These are their beds, they eat them, they grow them. They grow quite often the tallest radish, which I'm not quite sure what's <laughs> <laughs> but this is their crops. They also we now started doing um, a junior growing. Um, right part for the allotment show so the children can grow two vegetables and one flower to put in and there's a junior trophy now so we started that last year. <laughs> no that was Jordan got that one. Ah. So explain to me these structures because these structures are quite... These, um, these are took from the Grow Your Own magazine and um, it's changed our kitchen one. Um, they said if you can lean your poles the beans will drop straight so this is my bean frame and the idea is the beans will hang from them what do you do to feed your broad beans because everything's looking quite big and large we do we do do trenches um so when we cut the beans down we leave the roots in okay. dig those in and we do a trench and feed them that away so what's down the bottom end then? We've got, these are the first earlies and second earlies and on the other side you've got the main crop. Now, these are our clangers, it's the scarecrow competition. We think they're embarrassed clangers, I think is probably the right way, a bit bright. Uh, we're going to make a soup dragon to go with them, it's just a bit of fun. And we put those, we always put scarecrows in the potato beds when we start digging up the potatoes. And this is uh, the carrots and parsnips. We've got carrots and good. parsnips to protect them from carrot fly. But and you've built, also, but you've built up the bed. yeah, we're building up the bed, and the soil's nice and light for the roots to go in. Mm. We don't put any manures in there because um, it'll make the roots yeah. fork out. We put a wildlife pond in. We've got we've got froglets in there, uh, tadpoles with legs, and we've got newts. I've got big frogs. <laughs> we've got big frogs. What else in there, boys? No, there's no fish. We've got snails though. We've got leeches. And then what's at the back here? These are our fruit trees. So you've got apple, pear, plum and cherry. And it's a bit of a wildlife area. So you've got hedgehog boxes, I keep hoping, insect boxes. We've got nettles and comfrey to grow, um, to f make feed with. So those are the buckets for the feed. Are you fairly self-sufficient? Um, we are for things like onions, potatoes for the majority of the year mm. and then come springtime we start running low. Other than that we eat fresh what's in season so runner beans are coming in, we've had a lot of strawberries. And do you grow through the winter or do you close everything down? And... We, we have some things in the, like the sprouts and leeks might go through winter, yeah. um, some of the cabbages, other than that we let everything die down. Uh, we put a green manure on with the potatoes each year, we had a problem with fresh. potato um, earworm yeah. so we started putting green manure because that tricks them into coming so, up as we crop rotate. 
taking the produce out of the equation, what do you get out of the plot? It's brilliant. It's relaxing. It's nice getting your hands dirty, knowing where um, your crops have come from, growing from scratch, and it's just really good for children. Um, I bring all the child mining kids down here, and even on a wet day, they'll go, shall we go home or shall we go allotment? And they'll go, can we go allotment? So we've got them all mucky wet suits so they can, uh, it doesn't matter if it's raining, they keep dry and keep clean. It's just fab.